What up, Frugal Bays, Frugal Bobs? You know who it is. Your girl, Crazy Karen, the Frugal Mom herself. I'm so glad that you're back. We're going to do something different, something that I, I've never done on this channel. And we're just going to go through a list of 50 best frugal living tips to save real money in 2021. Yeah, it's an article that I found online. And I want to go through the article to see how many of these tips I'm actually doing. Or maybe you're doing. I don't know. Let's just let's just do this together. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm totally going to put the link to this article in the comment section below so that you can check it out. But the article is entitled 50 Best Frugal Living Tips to Save real money. You guys know that I am a frugal person. I have been frugal for years, y'all. This is not a new thing, okay? And so I'm always looking for ways to get my frugality to the next level, okay? So let's go through this <laughs> and let's just see what this article says are 50 best frugal living tips. All right, so let's get onto this list. Number one, it says meal plan. I haven't been a big meal plan prepper type of person. I've done it before on some of my vlogs in the past, but I am gonna start incorporating this more because I'm on the special health kick diet program type deal and I do have to create a certain kind of meal every day, which requires me to plan ahead and buy the items that I need. So I'm gonna be doing more meal planning. Um, walk to work, I cannot walk to work y'all. I work an hour away from where I live, but I'm working from home right now. So technically, I guess I do walk to work because I walk from my bedroom to my office. Program your thermostat. I think I need to do this. I'm having an issue in this house. I'm in a new house. You should totally check out Casa Karen's 9 a.m. Saturday mornings where you get to see how I am putting this house together. But now that it is getting really, really cold outside, I am noticing, guys, that I have areas where the draft is real. And I think that my energy costs are skyrocketing because of these like drafty areas. So I've got to look into that. Plan your errands. Yeah, I, I've been doing that. Um, I don't want to just go out just to go out. Plus, we're in a pandemic, so it's not like we can really travel much. But yes, I like to plan my errands. Wait before buying. I just started incorporating this about a year ago. I legit create checkout lists on Amazon or Walmart.com, wherever it is that I'm purchasing from, and I'm not quick to hit checkout. I will leave that cart for like a week, and I'll come back to it, and I'll review it. Like, do I really need this? Not really. Let me see if I can find a cheaper alternative, and I usually do. So that's a good tip tip, excuse me, wait before buying. Get rid of cable, already did that, y'all. Number seven, buy produce that's in season. That's what I do, y'all. I try to stay away from buying strawberries when they're not in season because they're so expensive. <laughs> Use cash back or money saving apps. I was using Ibotta for a while, but now that I'm getting my groceries delivered, they don't give me the kind of receipt that I can scan. So I've got to figure out how I can keep using my Ibotta while getting my groceries delivered at home. Buy previously loved items. What does this even mean? Most all cities have Facebook buy, sell, trade groups. Groups where you can buy things at a small fraction of the retail price. This is a great place to look if you're in the market for furniture. Oh, okay. Previously look used. I get it. I always buy used. I'm a huge thrift store person, but right now I don't need to buy anything. So we're good. Um, number 10 for large expenses. Aim for mid-range items. Of course, man. Don't overextend yourself. If you got to buy like expensive stuff, try to find uh less expensive option i'm sure you'll find it 11 stick to your shopping list for sure i do this all the time grow a garden haven't done it yet but i might i don't really have a yard um i have like a little patio but i could definitely like do like an herb garden uh don't get fomo from sales yo i used to get fomo from sales like fear of missing out that's what fomo means and i'd be like oh my god there's a sale i gotta buy it i've stopped doing that so pretty cool. Buy reusable items all the time. That's what I do. Buy generic. I do it all the time. Cut up your credit cards. I haven't cut up my credit cards because the ones that I have, I use from time to time, like for leverage. Uh, I like to keep my credit cards at zero balance, but I do use them once a month, once every other month to keep the card current. Cause if you don't do that, 
they will lower your credit limit. And if they lower your credit limit, then your debt to income ratio changes, your credit score goes down. So I don't cut up my credit cards, I just keep them in an envelope tucked away. Uh, let's keep going, 17, don't buy bottled water. I don't. 18, implement a spending freeze. Yes, I have implemented no spending days into my budget. 19, auto draft your payments. I don't auto draft all of them. I only auto draft my cell phone because I don't know. I feel like I need control of when I'm hitting submit and pay. I don't know. That was a little tough for me. Um, avoid ATM fees. Yes, I will only go to my ATM that, you know, is my bank. I try my best. Okay. Upcycle. Um, yes, if you've been watching Casa Karen's, you have been seeing me upcycle a lot of my furniture. Use online coupon codes. I've done that by a membership. Yeah, I actually bought a walmart.com pickup and delivery membership because since I'm getting my groceries delivered, I figured why not pay for a yearly membership and you know, it'll pay for itself like within a month and a half of using it. Uh, hang your clothes to dry. I used to do this and I will plan on doing this this summer when the weather gets better. Buy your own modem. What the heck is that? Well, this is an upfront expense. Buy your own modem instead of leasing it from your internet provider will save you money. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know you could do that. I'm going to look into that one. Check out YouTube videos. Hello. Check me out every week. But for sure, y'all, I watch tons of YouTube videos. Um, that's how I've learned to do a lot of the things in my house by watching YouTube videos. Let's keep going. Wash your clothes in cold water. I always use warm water. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I, my clothes come out cleaner when they're washed in warm water or hot water, but I should definitely start using cold water. I did buy Lysol sanitizer, so hopefully that will make things better. Make use of your local library. I have read this so many times and I've heard frugal people talk about this all the time and I have not taken advantage of this. So I think once this whole pandemic situation um, pans itself out, I'm going to be using my local library a little bit more. So I don't do this tip and I think I'm going to start. Let's keep going, y'all. 29, ask for samples all the time. <laughs> Cook in bulk. I haven't done it in a while, but I'm starting to do this again. 31, use less. Um, yes, I've been using less uh, laundry detergent. I've been like measuring it out. Um, I've been using less dish washing detergent. One pump, that's it. I've, I'm getting better at measuring things out so that I'm not, you know, overusing my products. 32, stock up. I'm trying to uh, get my stockpile going. Haven't been able to do that yet, but I want to. 33, don't buy portion foods. What does that mean? How much easier to buy pre-cut fruits? Oh yeah, that's right. No, buying pre-cut fruit is so ridiculous. It's beyond expensive. Buy a whole watermelon, cut it your damn self. Okay, 34, pack your lunch all the time. Uh, shop alone, for sure. I used to try to go shopping with family and friends. No, no. That's the devil. Stop. Okay. I go by myself. Um, 36, shop your pantry. I started doing this and it's been such a fun thing to do. 37, watch your oven use. Yes. Um, I try not to use my oven a lot. I actually use my air fryer more than I use my oven, but, um, my, I have such a drafty kitchen that sometimes I want to use my oven because it warms up the space. So, Oh, I got to work on that. Save your baby essentials. What does that mean? After having your first baby, don't rush to get rid of all the things, items taking up space in your house. Once your baby outgrows them, keep toys, clothes, rockers, and your crib for a little while, even if you aren't planning to have a second child anytime soon. You never know what you may decide in the future, and rebuying all those items is expensive. That is so true. I'm done having children, but my kids were back to back, 18 months apart. I kept everything, even though I had a girl and then I had a boy. There were a lot of neutral items that I could use for my son. So yeah, keep those baby items. If you have an inkling that you're going to have another child, keep those items. And I did that, but we have moved past that point in life. Let's keep going. 39, only use what you need. Very, very true. And the example here is turn off the lights when you leave the room. Yes. My kids are older now and they're starting to turn on the lights and they're leaving the switches on, so I've got to get on them. Number 40, change your light bulbs. Yes, I have incorporated more LED lights in my home and I'm excited to change two more light fixtures to LEDs. 42, exercise outside. It's been a little tough. We're like in the middle of a snowstorm right now, but 
once the weather gets better i am going to exercise outside and also it talks about cutting down gym costs i do not go to the gym there's so many frugal free opportunities for you to exercise just watch a youtube channel if you saw casa karen's on my basement reveal i actually created like a mini gym in my basement so i'm so excited to start using that uh let's keep going 43 create a budget hello create a budget i already do that i got my debt tracker right there y'all um 44 declutter and downsize this is my favorite favorite thing to do i absolutely love decluttering i love decluttering so much that i will throw something out take it out of the trash and throw it out again no i'm just kidding i'm exaggerating <laughs> but i do love to declutter and downsize 45 reduce insurance costs yeah sometimes just a phone call to ask hey do you have a better rate or hey i'm a teacher do you offer discounts or i'm a student do you offer discounts sometimes doing that like can save you money uh, don't buy a new car oh Oh my God, don't buy a new car. Don't buy a new car. The moment you buy a brand spanking new car, you drive that puppy off that lot, it's depreciated by like 10 grand. Why do that to yourself? My husband and I bought used cars. Uh, we paid them off within three years and we own our vehicles. So, you know, Let's keep going, y'all. 47, shop with gift cards. Yeah, man, if people want to give me gifts, give me gift cards. I'm not a gift person. I really, I just, I don't like receiving gifts. Um, I just, I don't know. I have like, I guess, gift anxiety. But if you do want to give me something, give me a gift card because then I can go shopping with it and it controls my spending a little bit more because it's not really coming out of my pocket. It's coming out of your pocket. <laughs> but it's not me being cheap. It's just, you know. I guess it's me being frugal. <laughs> 48, literally ask for discounts. That's kind of like what I mentioned before. Sometimes you have to like pick up the phone and, and call and say, hey, I'm a senior citizen. What discounts do you have for me? Or, hey, I am a student. What discounts do you have for me? You just never know. Sometimes there are so many freebies that are out there, but they're only out there if you look for them and if you don't look for them those companies are not going to come knocking on your door saying hey we want to give you something for free you gotta look for them so just call and ask don't be afraid okay 49 use a discount prescription program uh very true uh i mean look into your jobs to see if they offer any type of like flexible spending account i know my last job offered that and it was a pretty cool thing i didn't really get to use it much because then i left the job and got a new job but whatever but yeah, discount prescription program. I did want to use a discount dental program when I didn't have health insurance and it was the best thing I ever did because I was like 27 year old. So I wasn't covered under my mom's insurance anymore. I didn't really have like a legit job that offered insurance and I needed a root canal and I needed a bunch of dental work. So I got a discount like dental prescription program thing that I paid for and it really did help knock a lot of the costs down and 50 this one is cool travel at odd times so the writer says try heading out for your vacation midweek on a Tuesday or Wednesday as it's cheaper to fly during the week also look for flights with discount airlines so you can pay less to travel and have more spending money for your trip this is so true if you are a flexible traveler you will be able to get the best deals and i know that is true because i've done that a few times where i'm not going to leave on a friday i'll be like let me leave on a thursday and it's like 50 dollars cheaper so um it's cool going through this list because a lot of these tips i'm already doing so were you doing a lot of these too i don't know check out the article down below it's a really really cool article and I don't know, I mean, it, it, it was eye-opening. There are a few things that I am actually going to go back and, uh, and check up on. But it is what it is. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for these 15 or so minutes that this video has been going for. Yo, if you like what you see in here, like totally subscribe like right now. Hit the bell, smash the like button, comment below, I like your style, or comment below, I like your hat, or comment below, that article is cool. I'm totally gonna read it and incorporate some of those tips in my life. But regardless of what you do, I'm glad you stopped by. Peace out. Mm -hmm.